There we go. Car ride hit 120. You like that shit? Woo! Let's fucking go. Yeah, we fucking like that shit. Woo! Destroy the fucking ear balls. Let's go, ear balls. Woo! Yeah, we like that one. Yeah, we like that one. Get that shit to 134. Let's do it. Woo! Oh my. Okay, so we took this one down, but this this is where this is where it's at, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Aces, aces, aces against King Queen. Get the cold four from King. Oh my God, he flops clubs. Let's fade. Let's fade. Let's fade. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. That's what we do because we run the fucking best. Oh shit. Getting them chips in F5K already. Let's go, ladies. Let's go. So I, I see about the flop. I got check raised. I called. Um, I'm gonna check back the turn. It's like a, like not a bad river, but like not one of those great rivers either. Just gonna show my jack eight down. Take the pot away from ace five. No, no. Okay, fine. Take it here. We'll take it here. Jacks gotta win the flip. Heart, hearts all day. We got heart. We got an ace. There we go. There we go. Let's go. Love that he didn't have that that jack of hearts in his hand too. Give us those extra outs. Obviously, betting's fine. Could have done that. Just gonna call. Not the best turn card. Everybody knows that. I don't really love calling this turn, but I don't think that I have much of a choice either. That ace king hand's kind of annoying. I mean, like. I basically have, like, a bunch of. Like, basically, all of my other kings block value bets, I think, better. 
and probably unblock bluffs in like a somewhat comparable way. So it felt like I would be better off calling with like, and I don't think he's value betting like one pair King X, but I could be wrong about that. Um, so that's kind of where we were at. That's where that's where we ended up. Uh, Got to run with Jacks here. Ace Jack, it's hold. We're a favorite. It's hold. Five K, come on! Oh, that's a bad river. That's a bad river. Hurts, hurts in the five Ks. I think I'd rather bluff with another ace high hand. That could be wrong though. There we go. Car right hit 120. You like that shit? Woo! Let's fucking go. Yeah, we fucking like that shit. Woo! Destroy the fucking ear balls. Let's go, ear balls. Woo! Yeah, we like that one. Yeah, we like that one. Get that shit to 134. Let's do it. Woo! Woo! Yeah, you like that bluff. Woo! We fucking go. So I completed the small blind and made a flush. Could check and check raise, of course. It's an option. It's a good answer, but uh, you can't just do that. Got bluffed by the nine of clubs. We got bluffed by the nine of clubs. Woo, woo, let's go, let's go. Let's go 5K, come on. Let's do it. BBZ here, and I am just highlighting one of the highest value videos that we've got on bbzpoker.com, and that is the BBZ Ape Styles footage, where the two of us are going back and forth. You get to see him pushing back on me when I'm you know, giving my thought process. You get to see me defend that thought process and push back on him. And you get to see us thresh things out and try to settle on you know, really solid strategies that you might not be able to find anywhere else. Okay, so this is the type of discussion that's just only available on bbcpoker.com, and I highly recommend you get over there and check that out. Hoping to get some love. CPAL90 coming through with the sub. What's up, brother? To bet call a flop. Obviously, it's one of those situations where you're oftentimes fucked. Yeah, well, I lose to all the value bets. I beat bluffs. 
There's oftentimes not a lot of visible bluffs here, but I don't think this hand's supposed to fold, so I'm going to call anyway. Oof. We got we got him. It's not a lot of visible bluffs, but it, you know, like that's that's the way that my opponent's supposed to bluff. And I give my opponent credit for being able to construct it properly. And we got him. Hit that hundred. Hit that hundred. I don't know what, how high it went. You guys can let me know. You guys tell me. I missed it. I missed it. I wasn't watching it. But opening up tens in the five k. Obviously gonna call. Run into aces. Unfortunate. Spike that ten. We could do it. We can get those clubs. Okay, 10, 10, 10. I run the worst. I run the worst. Five big blinds, ace eight into ace five. Hopefully we hold. Put a deuce out there. Okay, we'll take the seven. No five. Ah, that sucks. It's a shitty river. So we opened up ace nine offsuit in the 5k. Big blind called. Big blind checks the flop. I see bet, pretty standard. It's obviously not the best card in the deck. I'm going to check that card. I think I have the best hand, like overwhelmingly facing this line, but reopening seems dangerous, so I'm not going to. <clears throat> I still think I can cut myself against Ace-10, so like a lot. I do think I have the best hand, like a lot of the time. It's really tempting to, to reopen, but Sand doesn't really get to do anything other than call, but the spot's not fun. Limp first in face 4x ISO. Okay. Gonna put the bet out there. Final table, gonna put out a C bet. With a pretty strong hand. Here I bricked. And I'm going to check fold. Could totally get behind bluffing. But I don't think my opponent's gonna fold. Top two pair on the flop. I'm actually going to fold these 10s on the bubble here, which I'm not jumping up and down about, to be honest with you. But what are you going to do? I lied. The other, the other player, the player on the other table um, over here, I think, busted. So I think that player busted. Yeah. Which made me made it okay to call. I was going to... Obviously, I'm folding because of the ICM of the scenario. I'm not folding for any other reason. So once I saw that the player who was the shortest um, had busted, that gave me free reign to call the 10. So had that player not busted, I would have folded the 10s. Um, and then uh, that's not what happened. So 